transfers, 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 yeah. Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well. Really do hope that. Namaste. What's going on? Welcome back to Chelsea News. Daily series here, of course, where I go across the media, see what's being said about the gels, giving you my opinion on it, but more importantly, asking for yours. A couple of players I wanted to talk about today. A peculiar instance, actually. Transfer targets in the right back position or right wing back position. Chelsea both linked with, of course, Adama Traore of Wolves and Akraf Hakimi of Inter Milan. I'm going to cite a little bit about the Hakimi story and also give you my opinion on the Adama Traore story link rumor because it's, he's, he's a massive player not just in stature Ugh, doesn't lift weights by the way <laughs> but he's such a you know useful guy in the premier league absolute force power football intelligence sometimes lacking in final quality there's a lot to get into regarding Traore, so i will get into that make sure you subscribe to football therapy if you want to and if you choose to do so hit the bell notifications icon because there's daily uploads sometimes twice in a day throughout the summer keeping you posted on transfer stories and you want to be a part of that also, do consider checking out Football Yannick, my sister channel, where I will be covering the Euros throughout the summer, as well as just general transfer stories, not just exclusively Chelsea. So I thank you all for your continued support. It means a lot. I'm so pleased you guys are enjoying the content. Let's get into today's video and talk about Hakimi first. Right, Ekraf Hakimi has been a player that Chelsea have looked at for a long time. I'm going to cite an article from One Football in just a moment. A uh, really, really exciting sort of wing-back player that can play on both flanks. You know, he's played for Dortmund, Real Madrid and Inter. So he's high profile, he's young, very dynamic and exciting. And of course, the news has recently surfaced that Thomas Tuchel is looking for that right-sided defender, which is really interesting. So before we talk about Hakimi in isolation, let's just reiterate something that I've spoken about recently here on Football Therapy. The fact how Thomas Tuchel is indeed targeting this kind of player because we've got Reese James who looks to be a magnificent right wing back, uh, especially after dropping a masterclass in a Champions League final against the Premier League champions Manchester City, who are seen as potentially the best club team in the world right now. So if Reese James is doing that so, so young, probably is going to start for England, I think. Why would you want to upgrade on that? Well, there's a few things to consider. Rotation, maybe. What's the alternative to Reese James at the moment? Callum Hudson-Odoi looked at first to be a solution for Thomas Tuchel, but he slowly learned throughout his tenure, or short tenure, that he doesn't see Callum Hudson-Odoi as a right wing back, and more, he sees him more as a front free player. So really, he's just got Azpi Laqueta, and although he was good, kind of good at times, uh, playing the right wing back position, he's not really a good alternative to play that role and really he ended up playing that role because actually Thomas Tuchel wanted Rhys James to play right centre back to marshal the likes of Jamie Vardy which he did incredibly well. So it's not that you know Azpi is a good alternative there, it's that Rhys James really functioned well as a right centre back and something I've mentioned before, Rhys James has played right centre back for the Chelsea Academy. So. Thomas Tuchel might be thinking, ooh, you know, as he's 31, 32, or however old he is, I want pace in that position. I can trust Reese James at right centre back and right wing back, but I need an extra player at right wing back to really do the job. Maybe to either play in front of Reese James or to rotate with him because Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea, they're going to be trying to fight on all fronts next season. They're going to attack the Premier League, Champions League, and they'll be going for the Cups as well. Taking that into account and being a pragmatic man, Thomas Tuchel, he's probably thinking, right, we need quality there. Someone to either start with Reese James or alternate with him to the level I want. And that's my theorizing and my conclusion to perhaps why Thomas Tuchel is targeting this position or certainly that's the story that's being reported in the news and in the media. So let's talk about Hakimi a little bit more and let me cite this article from One Football. Chelsea are making a move for Inter Milan fullback at Kraf Hakimi. Despite finishing the season as Serie A champions, Inter faced the prospect of needing to sell senior players to help ease the financial pressure of the club's owner Suning. Among those who could depart is Hakimi, with Chelsea already seeking to exploit the situation. The Athletic via Le Sport 10 says, Chelsea have been following Hakimi since his teenage years coming through the youth system at Real Madrid and had an 
have scouted extensively during his loan spell with Borussia Dortmund. Blues manager Thomas Tuchel is also a big fan and has approved a move for the defender this summer. In his first season in Italy, Hakimi helped Inter Milan win the Scudetto, playing 37 times in Serie A, scoring 7 goals and producing 11 assists. He has a contract with the Nerazzurri to 2025. Hakimi is also a key member of Morocco's squad, already boasting 31 caps at the age of 22. That's incredible, 31 caps at the age of 22 for his country. I think it's like the same age as Mason Mount and he's got that many caps. I know perhaps his country has got less quality than England, so maybe that's not a fair comparison. But an incredibly productive season for Inter Milan in terms of assists with a few goals as well. He was excellent with Dortmund, of course he was a Real Madrid player. So we're talking quality here at such a young age, 22 years old. Now, I know I've heard certain things about the scouting with Chelsea. Chelsea were scouting Hakimi for a long, long time. They were looking at him extensively and closely, but actually Chelsea stopped scouting him and the reported story coming from that is, is because they realized that Reese James was actually a massive potential to break into the first team and play that role. And by the time Frank Lampard got into Chelsea, all interest in Hikimi was lost because they were like, yeah, Reese James is mustard. And to be honest, maybe even before Frank Lampard, when Reese James was dominating at Wigan in the championship. Of course, he came up, ascended into the Premier League and showed he could do it at the highest level. And since then, he's done it in the Champions League final. So there's no doubt whatsoever in terms of Reese James's quality. But the fact how he's being linked to Chelsea again, Hikimi, like I theorised previously for the aforementioned reasons, I think it's to rotate or actually play with each other with Reese James just behind him. Now, of course, I cannot confirm these reports. I'm just reacting like you and reading the news stories. But I do theorise and I'm giving you my opinion like I always do here on Chelsea News. And hopefully it makes a little bit of sense. Now, let's move on to the next player. I'm not going to be citing a particular article, but I do want to talk a little bit about Adama Traore. Now, Traore is an absolute train. He's mid-20s, so he's entering his prime. He's built like an absolute house. This dude somehow claims that he does not lift weights, yet his biceps look like they're about 30 inches a piece. Absolutely strong. He oils up his arms, which I think is hilarious, but it kind of makes sense so people can't grab him while he's motoring down the wing. He's incredibly fast. He's incredibly strong, which is perfect for Premier League football. And he's very, very offensive. More offensive, in my opinion, than the likes of Hakimi as an option at right wing back. So if Chelsea are indeed interested in Traore, it's very much for the case of explosive alternative. For me, Hakimi is more of like a settled team starter, but Traore, you know, he, he wasn't always a starter for Wolves for one reason or another. He's got immense quality, but for certain tactical reasons, he was either like wing back or front free, and he wasn't always chosen by Spirito Santo. So in my opinion, if we were to secure the signature of Traore and transfer him in, it probably initially would be a rotational prospect to use against certain teams, because for a transitional wing back, Boy, oh boy, you don't get any more devastating than Adama Traore. When he gets the ball and just explodes down that wing, you just don't stop him. Not only do you not stop him, you don't catch him. And provided he sort of sharpens up his finished product in terms of getting the ball into the box correctly, or maybe making the right decision and pass, He's incredible. He's just that tool that you want and what a tool he could be for Thomas Tuchel moving forward in certain games where you're going to transition on the opponent. So I can see if he's like an affordable option and maybe he's available because of, you know, Nuno Espirito Santo going uncertainty at Wolves and generally his profile of a player being quite high. He probably knows his value and knows the fact how he could probably get a big move. But he's been talking about La Liga clubs like I think he came from Barcelona, but talks about maybe returning. I think he's spoken about Real Madrid, but maybe you could convince him Chelsea's a good idea because hey, Chelsea won the Champions League. They are the champions of the entire the entirety of Europe. So that is, you know, quite convincing for a lot of players and I you'd imagine Chelsea would pay a lot of money in wages. So the temptation could be there for Adama Traoré. I do worry because He's built so big what his injury record would be like as he gets into his late 20s with that kind of weight load on his joints. Um, I don't know, because you know, it happened with Lukaku. It, it, it was really, Lukaku had to slim down a little bit to get the most out of his ability. But granted, 
Trail Ray is, is a lot about strength and speed, but also he can do these individual moments of brilliance himself, no, moments of brilliance himself. Like when he scored those two goals against Manchester City a season or two ago, a season or two ago on the break. So he can have these individual moments, but in terms of an explosive option on the right flank for transitional football, like Thomas Tuchel often plays, what an option he would be. So I want to put it out to you guys, get into the comment section below, express your thoughts, feelings and opinions on both of these players and the idea of buying a new right wing back. How do you feel about it? Comment down below, let me know you've enjoyed the video by dropping a like, um, subscribe and do go check out Football Yannick, link in the description. Enjoy the football, my friends, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.